Oh my gosh, Nelson. <laughs> this is your office. I know. <laughs> this is where I get to In look. the fall. It's so pretty. All this terrain that we see, which we'll get a better view from when we get up high, is going to be the new beginner experience. You know what? You talk about the beginner experience. Like, I've had the ultimate elite skier experience world cup and all that and this right here excites me so much I know, right? that so much is going into the beginner experience, the beginner experience. look at it all this is like disneyland for beginners very much so skill progression we're gonna go from dead flat terrain first glide first slide experiences slight hill pitch and catch then you're gonna pop up to a, a shallow turning course then as you get better, you'll come up here to a five turn turning course oh, cool. where you'll work a little more on edges. Cool. On the other side of this, we'll have what we call the perfect slope. That's basically, think about um, bowling alleys, have bumper pool. This is basically bumper pool. So we'll, we'll tip the edges like this, ski over, turn off it, ski over, turn off it. Same on a snowboard, work Jeez. your traverses, Amazing. side hills. Amazing. With flatter terrain like this, we're gonna be able to teach that really complicated edge change that allows you to make turns. But and now we're gonna get people skiing the mountain the right way. But on that lower carpet, that's gonna be a fixed double barreled carpet. So two carpets coming up with a cover over the top. The reason we do the cover is it makes it easier for the guests. So they'll get off and on this side of the run, there'll be actually a banked turn course. And the idea of the banked turn is that as I'm gliding along and my skis hit a bank, they naturally wanna follow the, the terrain. And so now I don't have to, I don't have to do that. The gravity and skis and the terrain will do it. I just have a sense that how it's done. Do you get real excited when you think about all of the marriages you're going to save? Oh my God. <laughs> right? Right? So, all, all, all of that family drama and conflict yeah. that's going to come out of it because right. the mountain's going to do it. The mountain's going to do the work. Okay. Once you get going and you feel comfortable on your turn, this gets really exciting. So we bought a new lift and we showed you earlier, cool. yeah. but it runs up here yeah. to a little bit higher up than where yeah. you can see right now. Yeah. It's a detachable chairlift. Very, very short ride, detachable chairlift. First one in the country with an automatic restraining bar. Oh, cool. So again, super safe, high, not high speed, but detachable so that we can slow the load speed down. We'll run that thing at 50%, 30%, so that the load speed is so low that it's gonna be really easy to get that first chair experience. And the other beauty of it is, nobody else is on that chair but beginners. So we're not having that challenge of a beginner skiing, feeling the pressure of an advanced skier slowing them down or making the lift stop or any of that. It's just for our beginners. And Great they're gonna, thing. they're gonna get very successful mileage learning how to load a lift. Huge. I mean, that's awesome. Huge, and a nice short lift yeah. So it's not like you, you know, you get up there and you get tired. Yeah. No problem. You come down, you go in for a rest. It's going to be a cool. little short pitch yeah. and then a long flat. So you get a little speed and then you stop. And then there'll be another one. A little, we call them rollers, right? Then a little pitch and then a stop. So you get that sensation of slipping and sliding, which we don't get in our everyday lives. It's the biggest thing a beginner has to overcome is the sense of sliding because nowhere in our life is that good except for when we come here to ski. This is state of the art, and I like seeing stuff that's state of the art. I mean, stuff that's really going to benefit the guests. Oh yeah, and let me tell you, because we've, we've gotten all geeked out on the yeah. flat terrain yeah. and, and the beginner's experience and all that kind of stuff, which we're, if you build this terrain right, it's empty by 11 o'clock because people learn so fast. Once we get them comfortable with sliding and they're standing on their feet and they're like, okay, this is okay. Now we can start to build the, the steering and edging and pressuring skills that we need to advance from beginner terrain to more advanced terrain. And so the key to that is speed control. And we're gonna go from making a, a, just a glide to a stop to a turn to a stop. So you look here and you pan around, Deb. You, you pan from, uh, what is that, Sleeping Giant and across, and I think you can just get a peak of Hans Peak oh, when it's yeah, clear. The views that you get from right. the top of the mountain. You get up your mid mountain here, you're, and you've got, you're, you're the big in views. it, right? What a great point. You're here. You're, you're actually That's having so the experience cool. instead of being trapped in a tiny yeah, little right, area in right. the base area. And there's that uh, that first lift that got there it that 4% grade. Yeah, yeah, and you can see just how That's very neat. flat that is. Yeah, and it just cool. again, take all the fear out of that first slide. Yeah. 
we have a great plan and I know that when we get in here and we experience it and we try it we're gonna learn more and we're gonna change and tweak and edit and it's just such a great base to start from yeah. because it's it's optimal in a lot of ways that allows us to do a lot of different things with it Yay. Cool, Nelson. Okay. <laughs>